Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So you all must be already aware about this that CSIR has tweeted recently uh, regarding the upcoming CSI net exam and they have mentioned in that tweet that they are tentatively going to conduct the exam in the month of September. So we are expecting the next CSI net exam in the month of September. Now I am making this video to discuss few things with you all. Uh, those who are preparing for the exam and just few advices from my side for you. So I am going to talk about something very directly to you. If you resonate with it, please do let me know in the comment section below. All right. So the first, th uh, first thing is that uh, we were expecting CSIR to conduct three exams this year. Earlier CSIR has said ki, uh, we will conduct three like last year when COVID hit, uh, it was the third wave of COVID I guess. That time CSIR said that uh, in the year 2022, we will conduct three exams. They have tweeted and they have said that. But now I think that is not possible, okay? Because if this is like this year, one exam already happened in the month of February. And if this is going to happen to be the second exam of this year in the month of September, then conducting a third exam by the end of December is very difficult. Although if CSIR does that, which I don't think CSIR will do. Personally, I don't think CSIR, CSIR will be able to do. But if CSIR does that, I'll be super happy for that. But uh, for now, I'm considering that the third exam this year is not possible. Maybe early in 2023, they are going to conduct exam, but not in the two, uh, year 2022. We, we might not see the third exam. What you guys think about it? Do let me know in the comment section regarding this part. Okay. Second thing which I want to discuss is with all the aspirants, we, with all the students who are preparing for CSI net exam. See, uh, I know it is very difficult, uh, like having no date for the exam, no clue about the exam and still preparing for it, still like making notes, solving questions, revising concepts daily, uh, like studying for that particular exam, uh, whose date even you don't know that when it is going to happen, right? And you all have done that since February, March month, okay, or might be doing it before that itself. So your pain only those that person can understand who is teaching or who is studying, okay, only that those people can understand. So I can totally resonate with you. I can totally understand what you are going through, uh, like teaching student for CSI net exam from past so many years. I can totally understand how it feels that uh, okay the exam dates are not announced and you are preparing for it but now we have a tentative date or we have a tentative month for the exam right so now is the time when you have to buck up you have to you know you you have to raise your energy you have to start your preparation with a new pace okay so whatever has happened till now your entropy was low right like whatever you were doing till now we were we all were at a lower entropy like in a lower entropy state where uh, we were okay fine let's not if if we have not studied today it doesn't matter we'll study tomorrow if we have not studied tomorrow okay fine we'll take a gap and then study again so let's say those things has already happened but now is the time when you have to become serious and you have to seriously give time and attention and focus uh, and your concentration towards the studies okay so you have roughly two months more than two months a little bit let's let let csir announce the exact date then we can say that how many exactly how many days we have for the exam but for now we are considering that you have roughly two months for the exam two months is enough uh, to revise to prepare and to give best for the exam okay so now you have to wake up see uh, you all must have read or heard about the story of tortoise and rabbit, right? So till now you all were sleeping like the rabbit, okay? Like, okay, fine. Uh, I have already taken a good pace. Let's sleep, okay? And someone, someone over there is doing consistent preparation, okay? Just like the tortoise, he is studying daily, little bit, little bit, but daily he is studying and that tortoise is going to, uh, like, he is going to take away uh, competition from you. So make sure that you don't end up this whole battle like a uh, like a rabbit okay so wake up and you have two months just give the, your proper pace to your preparation and give your best for the exam so and and the last thing the last thing which i want to discuss in this video is especially to those students who are in a particular state key okay fine we have got the date for we don't have got the date for the exam yet 
and let's say the exam oh the exam is so near in the month of september and we don't have that much time to prepare for it let's leave this we will give the next one okay there are many students uh, who actually messaged me also that sir uh, i'm going to skip this exam because this time i have not prepared it and uh, like i'll give the next one okay and remember that this type of mindset is not going to help you i have told them that directly there also on mail and messages and i'm just i just want to tell in this video so that it reaches to most of you don't make that type of mindset for exam see when you give when you prepare for exam when you when you sit for a particular exam your 10 to 20 percent of your work is done by your mindset itself if you are going in exam with a proper and with a focused mindset that will be totally different like your performance will be totally different in that way and if you go in exam with a poor mindset or with a mindset of you know uh, like uh, with a casual mindset that okay fine let's give the exam if it is done it's done if it is not it's not in that case your performance will be totally different so your mindset should, should be in such a way that it, that i have to crack it that's called uh, you know a warrior kind of mindset that i have to sit for the exam i have to get through it and uh, like thinking like okay fine we uh, the next exam is just in two months and these two months are not enough i'll give the next one see that is never going to happen okay the next exam what is the guarantee that the next exam you will not say this thing okay in the next exam again you will say the same thing yeah oh the exam has come so early let's skip this one let's give the next one so the next 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 exam will never come okay it's just like the tomorrow never comes in the same way uh, your next exam is never going to happen because you are not willing to give it and you are not willing to give your best for this so prepare your mind first of all whenever you are giving the exam or whenever you are st starting your preparation the first thing is to make your mindset that whether you want to qualify this or not now i can understand for those who have just uh, joined masters or those who are in masters final year those who have not completed their syllabus for them it is fine uh, for them they can give this exam casually and focus for the next one but for those who are waiting for this exam date for let's say six months or uh, whatever dates or whatever months they were waiting for this exam and now since the csr has announced it will be conducted in next two months so don't think okay we just have two months how i will do i won't be able to do let's skip this we will give the next one don't make that mindset okay two months are enough two months are more than enough i will say if you have basics clear okay in that case two months are more than enough what you have to do is just you have to give a proper direction to your preparation now i'll discuss about that in a different video i'll i'll make a separate video about that let csr uh, give their exact date so that we can have a proper conversation about it that how many days we have how we have to you know uh, utilize those days in preparation and how and what are the things you have to do until that time you have to keep revising your uh, notes you have to keep uh, like completing your syllabus the first thing is to complete your syllabus okay uh, if you are not able to complete syllabus until uh, like un like at least do that much ki uh, it should cover the majority of the syllabus okay so that is first thing second thing is keep revising your concepts and uh, like solving like keep solving questions so these are two three things which you have to do and in the next video when i will discuss about a proper strategy for the exam there i will talk about that what are the other things which you can take care of and how you can utilize this last two months in a way so that you can be productive for your exam okay but currently what you have to do is you have to prepare your mind you have to uh, make a proper mindset that i have to give this exam and i have to qualify this exam right that is the first thing which you have to do see the only person who can motivate you is you yourself okay nobody else in this entire world can motivate you only you can motivate yourself so you have to talk to yourself that don't think like this okay don't don't have that negative attitude towards the exam be positive for the exam and give your best for the exam okay and and like two months are enough i can do it so go, go with that particular attitude and start your preparation with that or or basically give direction to your preparation with that particular attitude right so that was something which i wanted to discuss in this video because this was very important uh, i was getting messages calls uh, emails regarding the exam date and 
how to prepare and all so for that i will make a dedicated video let csr de like declare their uh, exam dates and all so with that we will have a strategy video over there but for now these things you have to do first thing is wake up okay now is the time when you have to prepare and you have to give your best second thing is that make your mindset okay prepare your mind for the upcoming exam and third thing is don't think we are going to have a next exam this year itself or when the next exam going is going to happen don't think about the next exam this is the time and this is the exam which you have to crack all right so that's it from my side and uh, i hope the things which i said might you might have understood it if there is anything else which you want to discuss with me you can comment that down in the uh, comment section below i will try to reply you over there and that's all from my side thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much